Hi, I'm Jim Anderton, Director of Content at Engineering.com, and I'm here with Stephen Bruner. He's Vice President of Marketing for OMAX. And Stephen, when we think of water jet, and OMAX, of course, synonymous with water jet, we think about power, horsepower. It comes up often in any description of machine performance. I understand you have something new on the horsepower front. We do. We have just recently launched the Enduro Max 100 horsepower pump. And that pump is really used for applications where you need a lot of power, so you're cutting a really thick part. We think the Enduro Nax technology, it's a direct drive pump, is the most efficient pump on the marketplace. It delivers 85% efficiency to the nozzle. And really that's going to do your cutting for you. So it's important to have that direct transfer of power. Now Stephen, I think you've hit on an important concept here, which is that power at the pump, of course, is kind of like horsepower in a car, I think. I think it's a great selling point. A lot of manufacturers sort of advertise it as sort of pump horsepower. But there is significant difference between strictly pump horsepower and cutting efficiency depending on the cut. Is that correct? When you talk about different kinds of cutting, I think it's really important to clarify what that is. I think if you're doing straight line cutting of a relatively thick part, I think the requirements for horsepower and power at the nozzle is one thing. I also think too, another thing you've got to consider is intricate parts or parts that have a lot of curves, bevels to them, or um, sort of intricate geometries do require a combination of pump technology as well as software, right? So to use a car analogy, it's great to have a powerful engine, but if you don't have a steering wheel that works all that well, the reality is the car is not going to be that great for you. Now, Stephen, of course, we think of the water as a carrier of, of an abrasive, of course. Now, as the horsepower goes up and up and up, does it change the, the way that, that you have to think about how the abrasive works? Do you change abrasives, change abrasive loading? You don't change abrasives or abrasive loading. I mean, in certain situations, it's really about what are you cutting and what is the appropriate mix of horsepower and abrasive going to the nozzle. Now, it's clear you can have too little. Can you have too much power for cutting application? I don't know that you can have too much. I mean, too much would, again, you're getting into a, a, an efficiency situation where it really could be wasteful. If you're applying too much pressure, then really you're, you're applying too much energy to your cut. And I know fabricators and manufacturers are all about the most efficient use of water, abrasive, and power consumption to make their part. Now, Stephen, when, uh, when you come encounter a situation where a cut is marginal or, or uh, a customer is bumping up against the upper performance limit of the machine, how do they know? How can they tell when really that they're pushing the machine too hard and they need to think about something with more power? I think that um, you know, one of the things that they notice is they're not getting, they're having to use too much abrasive. Um, might be a good indication of where they need to go. Um, I would definitely say that if they're, if they're not getting the kind of cut that they're looking for and the timing that they're looking for, that's probably a good indication of where to start, maybe to, to reach out to an OMAX salesperson or a water jet salesperson to find out more and whether power can actually help their application. Stephen, is there a single error or mistake or misconception that you see more often than any other amongst end users of, of water jet equipment? Um, I think that a single mistake is, is, again, sort of a quick, really not sort of getting pulled into the idea of power or certain feature sets. I think what really the most important advice I could give anybody to shopping around for a water jet is do a test cut with each one of them. Understand how the amount of time that it takes, the settings and everything that's required to cut the part that they're looking to cut. And, and shop that around to a number of different vendors because I think that's really going to help them solve their problems. Well, good advice about pumps, water jet cutting, and pump power from Stephen Bruner at OMAX.